Hi friends, it's Shanna, Shop Glorious Day. I am still at Drift and Holler, stepped out and uh, sort of catching, catching the wind here on this lovely day, but want to now introduce you to Kimberly of Spit and Whittle. She's right next to Pet Denki, sort of nestled inside her, uh, her boutique so um, we're just gonna stroll in and spend some time with her she has a wonderful collection of characters um, and I won't even say more until you get to meet them um, super special captured my uh, heart uh, in their delightful design so let's go meet Kimberly and have her share uh, her artistry uh, expressed through spit and whittle the uh, big blue sky here live music was out the other night so let's go in you can see the beautiful kind of open airy feeling and there's pat Denke there and there's kimberly yay of spit and whittle texas and we're gonna i told them i wasn't gonna share anything because until i came in because they're so fun these designs so we're gonna come up here on the shelf so you can get a first sort of preview and maybe you can tell a little bit about them as we're kind of peeking just in general kind of yeah. how you started doing this kind of where it came from and well i'm a fourth generation wood carver oh my whole life but my dad my grandfather and my uncles they all carved serious furniture and there's artwork is in museums Mine wow. Is humorous and cartoony this is and caricatures. They're so fun. Cartoony caricatures, yes. So some might recognize that one. <laughs> but look at them. And they all have names, they all which have we'll go names and see. And stories. Like this is Pops. Pop says the most real cowboys come into the world the same way they go out. Bald, bow legged, and gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. And you can he just so like is he so is that. He's so like you can just totally picture him saying it even. Gosh, look at the characters. Uh oh, Max Lax. Yeah, that's Sue Positori and Dr. Oh. <laughs> Bendover. Oh no. And Flossie McMean. Oh and Levi my Drool goodness. Singer. How fun. The Donald. The Donalds, yeah, look. And the profiles just there looking down the row. How fun. And, you ha and you've done, I mean, how many designs have you done? Do you have like a tally? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Right. How about that? So, well, let's go in and see some of the other designs, and maybe you could share. So, this, so these are originals or carved in wood, and then these are models resin. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, let's go in and see some more of your designs. Look at these. So you can see that they yeah. fit in Crown Royal or any kind of a fit. They fit in wine bottles, beer bottles, Coke bottles, those pretty little decorative bottles. People put them in Waterford Crystal too. Wow. Spit and Whittle bottle stoppers. And there's the website there too, which we'll put on the um, in the links. But look at them. Did a line of Santa's. Yeah, look. A lot of people collect Santa Claus, so I have to have Santa's. I love just like you want, you want, you almost want them to come to life and talk. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like those animations they do at Disney or whatever, you know, where it's like oh, you think right. it's wax or something, but then it's, it's he's gonna talk now, right? Yeah, <laughs> You're I, almost waiting for it because he wish looks I so. Had a spit and whittle land. Oh <laughs> yes. Oh, you totally could. Like, what a collection of characters to build bigger stories from for sure. Look at them. Well, feel free to share about any of them too, like particular favorites or. Oh, well, you know, I already shared Popsy is one of my favorites. Okay. Steve Stinky Foot is one of my best oh, sellers Stinky. right there. Ooh. 
his um, his story is is the chief is the leader of the Neverwash tribe. Okay. The chief had one fatal accident one extremely hot day. He drank five gallons of iced tea and dang near drowned in his own teepee. <laughs> You are a storyteller. I think there are some bigger stories here to be written. A well, book series or movies or I don't know what. There's so much here. There is. And then that's well, people funny. People come in and they'll say, well, you don't have one that has a handlebar mustache. And oh. Hmm. Right, I'll go home and make one. And then that will be here next time. And right. We'll and who's this gal? Cow Camp Kate. Kate's a top hand. She can out ride, out rope, and out shoot any cowboy around. When asked whether women make better cowboys than men, she replied, All I know is roosters crow and hens to love. Oh my goodness. Gosh, this is so fun. Oh my goodness. Okay, and this this guy, I'm kind of, he's tucked in there. He's riding. Oh yeah, that's uh, Slim Chance. Slim Chance. Yes. Oh boy. Look. Like, all real cowboys, Slim is broke most of the time. He says it's easy to tell how much money he has. All he has in the bank, all he has to do is pick it up and shake it. <laughs> in the when, bank. <laughs> when asked what he'd do if he won a million dollars, he said, I guess I'd just keep being a cowboy till it was all gone. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. I love them. And this is I do. Bar. Like, you want to get to know them all now. This, this was done oh, in the likeness of a friend of ours that was a... Um, a stunt double in the movies oh. but his name is rowdy bar rowdy was born to be a fighter but he rarely comes out on top in fact he's lost so many fights the boys start calling him miracle whip because be a miracle if he ever whipped anybody <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> poet artist artisan storyteller wood carver and a good dancer and a good dancer <laughs> boom yes oh my goodness and now, what are these? So now, these this are. This is a place to put your bottle stopper when oh, it's not in right. the bottle. Oh, right. Okay. Because not everybody has a bottle open all the time. Sure. So when you're gone to the liquor store, it's a good place to put it. <laughs> a place to rest. Yes. Right in their own body. That's a good. That's a good place to rest. <laughs> Gosh, and and what's he? What's who's this guy? That is Levi Drool Slinger. Levi's oh, a real cowboy. He's got a black hat, a big old wad of red man, and he's always broke. But being broken, nothing new to Levi as a young kid. All he had was tumbleweed for a pet. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Aww. We're just so so feeling for you right now. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. Oh, I love these. So you sell at the show here. I do. And then where else? I you wholesale. Oh, that's awesome to know. In France and Germany, Japan. I'm all over the globe. And some of my stores I've had for over 25 years. Still my good customer. Right. Store in Germany, they love wood carving. Right. People in Japan, they love cowboy stuff. Oh, how and fun. They, buy it, they want their cowboys made in America. Right. Oh. Right. Made right. In America. Yeah. So this, That's this such an important thing to put. I'm so glad you pointed that out because I can imagine yeah. shop owners would be looking at these going, they would be a huge hit. Right. countries don't want to buy things that are made right. in other places. They want them made in America. Yeah. Wow. America should pay attention to Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, so we'll just go visit some of these other other ones. So these here. are my hunters and fishermen right okay. there. Yeah. Aw. So I've got a, a bass fisherman. Yeah. And then there's a duck hunter. And then oh. another fly fisherman. That's so look at these. This is a bass fisherman. It's so fun the way the light's hitting them right now too. So nice and, and these clarifying. Are golfers. Golfers. That These one, are my Alamo guys. That what's the story with this guy? That's a golfer. He looks right. a little. Which one? The blue hat. Yeah, that, oh, that one. Oh, that, that that's <laughs> Willie One Shot. Willie is a very consistent golfer. He always shoots in the low 80s. If it's any warmer than that, he won't leave the clubhouse. <laughs> Willie likes to spend his time on only hole. It doesn't matter how many shots you take. Oh gosh, that's so fun. So you have all different. I'm just looking now. Here you've got one chef are, and yes, the stew meister. Wendy Tailspin is the pilot. Yeah. Buffon Betty is the hairdresser. Buffon Betty, love her. Sparky is the fireman. Oh. Uh, Sp Sparky is so slow. He's been a firefighter for 25 years and only has 18 years experience. <laughs> <laughs> the next to him is Vino Stampoli, the winemaker. 
Oh my gosh. Dr. Bendover, <clears throat> suppository. Dr. Von Yankenpol is the oh, dentist. No. Yeah. Dr. Bitten Scratched is the vet. And Flossie McNean is the dental hygienist. Look at them all. What wonderful gifts. I mean, these are so wonderfully whimsical and you can see them on some bottles down yeah, here too. Yeah, those are just... old antique bottles so you don't have to have them in new full bottles. You can put them in antique Right, bottles. even just as a piece of art. They're really, really wonderful. I'm so glad we were able to spend this time. Gosh. Yay. Yay. Kimberly, what a blast that was. I love them. And gosh, you, you, I think there's more. I really will predict right now that there's more story to these characters that's going to come out in some other way too. So thankful to be able to share this with uh, everyone who has opportunity to see. Also make sure that we note that uh, you have wholesale accounts. Yes. And yeah, so definitely find Kimberly and these spit and whittle, hang on, bottle, bottle stoppers. stoppers. 10 times fast, that's the other challenge for the day. So <laughs> a delight, Kimberly, will sign off for now. Find her here at Drift and Holler through the end of the show and at the links that we'll share with the video. Shanna, shop glorious day. Bye for now.